Have you ever just realized how like celery is just straight up edible utensils? The only reason why you eat celery is because you're dipping it in some shit, right? You don't want to be like a fat ass and take like a little bowl of ranch or blue cheese and chug that shit because that's disgusting, right? So you take some celery and dip that shit in that. You know what I'm saying? Like celery is just edible utensils, right? You put peanut butter on it on some celery with some raisins and shit. What is that shit called? Ants on a log or something? Like you used to do that shit when you were a kid and stuff? Nobody likes celery. Nobody likes straight up celery. It's fucking disgusting. You just eat celery because it allows you to fucking eat the yummy goodness like ranch and blue cheese. That's the only reason why people eat celery. Have you ever thought about the different animals that people tried to eat in the past? You know, like cows produce like hamburgers and steaks. You know, pigs produce like bacon and pork chops and shit like that, right? Uh, cats produce like Chinese food and shit, right? <laughs> but for real, like... I want to know the list of like animals that people have tried and said, no, nope, we're not going to put this on our diet. Like, like I want to meet the motherfucker that tried lion. You know what I mean? Like, I want to meet the motherfucker that sliced up some fucking hippopotamus meat and threw that shit on the grill and tried to see if that was good. You know what I mean? Like, I'd like to know what, what were the pros and cons for all the different animals we've tried to eat. And then like when it comes to vegetables and shit, like when was the last time a vegetable was like, invented or 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 deemed worthy of eating you know like what was the last vegetable and how long ago was it like how do we know that there's not sh more shit that grows from the earth that we can eat right have people tried you know like a pine tree like how do we know that there's not a certain way i mean shit what if you dip like a chunk of pine tree in like coconut oil and deep fried that shit for 20 minutes how do we know that that shit's not amazing or do we know that it tastes like shit maybe that's why maybe somebody tried that shit like is there a list of shit that grows from the earth like how do we know grass like like what if what what if you had a handful of grass and you like put that shit in like some eggs and then rolled around in some coconut we got like some coconut some toasted coconut grass like how do we know how do we know that that's not delicious or well, maybe we do know but i need a, i need a list i need a confirmed list of all the shit that grows from the earth that we that we have tried to eat and that we have not tried to eat or, or and, and the ones that we have not tried to eat why have we not like what what have what about that shit was deemed as uh-uh we ain't trying that shit i'm not stupid like i want to i want to see that list who's got that list along that rationale I bet you know what I bet I bet that human is fucking delicious I bet you if it wasn't carnivorous and and it wasn't frowned upon I bet you that humans could eat other humans and that shit would be fucking delicious you mean to tell me that you can't take a big-ass thigh muscle of, of, of an Italian man and fucking coat that shit in egg and throw some breadcrumbs on that shit and deep fry that fucker that that shit wouldn't be delicious stop it stop it right now i bet you we'd be the tastiest we would replace steak there'd be no much there would be no fucking outback steakhouses there wouldn't be like no fucking you know 200 dollars a plate steakhouses in this there would be a fucking human restaurant and it would be like fucking $400 a plate and motherfuckers would go crazy for that shit. People would be there all the fucking time. It'd be a wait outside the fucking door for like a half hour just, just to put your name on the fucking list. And then like a two hour wait to get a table if they were serving up chest muscle. Human chest. Think about that shit, man. Roll that shit around and fucking mm, some panko flakes. <sighs> fucking carnivorous bastard I am. And let me tell you something about Chinese food. And everybody always got these theories and these jokes that they're cooking dog and cat and stuff like that. Look, I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't even give a shit. If there was a fucking fact, if it was fact that Chinese food was rat, cat, dog, possum, raccoon, whatever that fuck that shit is, that shit is good, that shit is delicious, it feels amazing in my belly, I would still eat that shit. Even if they came out straight up and was like, we've been lying to you all these fucking years, and you know what? You're eating fucking Lassie over here. Your General Chow's chicken is straight up, is straight, is straight up uh, uh, Garfield the cat. Motherfucker, I would still eat that shit. I would still eat that shit. Psychologically, I wouldn't even give a fuck. I don't give a fuck because honestly, right now, shit, when I eat it now, I still think it's cat and dog because of all the stereotypes and all the fucking jokes that have been going on since I was a kid. So if I already think it's fucking dog and cat, fuck it. If I know for real that it's dog and cat, it still tastes delicious. Get in my fucking belly, bitch. Bottom line is, 
I'm a fat ass who loves me some food. And I can't stop thinking about food. And I literally just made this fucking video about food. Because food is delicious.